Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I am so excited because I am finally decorating my room for Christmas and oh my gosh have I held out for this one because I am a November 1st kind of gal. As soon as October and Halloween is done, Christmas tree goes up and Christmas is just full force. But this year, I've actually held back pretty well. Now, I have actually decorated, and my family have decorated the house, but I have yet to decorate my room because I wanted to decorate it with you guys and just get in the Christmas spirit by decorating my room. As you guys can probably tell, I've already set up the Christmas tree in the back, ready to go and put all the ornaments on. Now, the reason I didn't film putting up the Christmas tree was because I had a little bit of a Christmas tree crisis, if we call it that. I pretty much have had the same Christmas tree for the last like year or so and it's been really lovely. It's just from Kmart. It had some snow bits on it and just lots of different kind of leaves and it was gorgeous or branches or whatever you call them in a little basket and I loved it. It was the perfect little tree but the problem was I couldn't find it this year. <laughs> I was looking everywhere and didn't know where it was, could not find the tree for the life of me and then I go out and I go buy a new tree and this one has lights which I'm very excited to show you guys and I was like perfect new tree this one is also from Kmart it was $29 so good price and it looks amazing but then as soon as I get that tree guess what I found my old tree so now I have two trees the other one is in a different room at the minute so I don't even know if I have enough ornaments to cover both trees but we're gonna focus on this one because she's a new girl and I want to just decorate her and she has lights and it's very very cute so I'm gonna stop chatting. <laughs> I feel like that's how all my videos start. I just get so excited. I wanna tell you guys everything. But yes, I am going to just get straight into it and start decorating my tree. So I set it up to make sure that lights were working and that everything was okay with this tree um, because obviously I very shortly after found my original one, which was a bit annoying, but also I'm not mad because you can never have too many Christmas trees, right? I think so. So I'm just going to start Christmasifying my whole room and make it all cozy and just get in that Christmas spirit. Let's just get straight into making everything Christmassy. So if you guys remember a few videos back, I found this at Kmart, which is a little wreath holder. It goes over your door so it protects everything and make sure you don't have to put a nail in or anything like that in your actual door. So I have decided I'm going to put this on my wardrobe door just so I can see the Christmas spirit when I'm in my room and I got a wreath from Kmart as well. This is the wreath that I've got. I'm really happy with it. It looks so gorgeous and like natural. Very Australian kind of wreath but very very pretty and I just love that it's all green and yeah I really like it. I think it's Australian leaves. I'm actually not sure now that I've said that. Anyway, it's pretty, I like it, so I'm going to hook it on and put it on my door. Okay, so this is kind of as good as I can do for my bed at the moment because I don't actually own any Christmas sheets. I am on the hunt for the perfect Christmas duvet and sheet set. I do have my eye on one that is from Pottery Barn, but it is just so expensive to be honest that I just can't afford it right now. Maybe when the sales come on, I might be able to, but even then, I'm not sure. I might have to go somewhere online and try to find something a little bit more affordable. But at the moment, I'm just making it Christmassy with what I have. I also forgot that last year I had a smaller bed. So this kind of Christmassy arrangement looked a lot different. So I was just getting used to that now. I'm sure I also have another Christmas blanket. So if I can find that, I will also be putting that on my bed. But for now, we've just got the Christmas plaid and the cute little pillows amongst the summery florals because of course we are in Australia so there is no need for a blanket and even in a jumper right now I'm it's a bit warm <laughs> it's a bit toasty guys it's it's hot today but I'm here for the Christmas vibes and that is just pretending that it's winter time even though it's summer so anyway now I'm just going to unbox all my Christmas decorations see what I have got going on 
and decorate the rest of my room. So before I start unpacking all my old Christmas decorations, I wanted to show you a few new purchases that I have because you know I couldn't help myself. Of course I've got new things. So I have a few things from Kmart. I have these lovely Christmas nails. I couldn't help myself and I had to get two pairs of Christmas earrings. So I got these lovely bows. And I have these really cute Christmas wreaths. I just think the design on these are so gorgeous. The final thing I got from Kmart is this Christmas hair bow. Now I think it is just the most stunning and gorgeous thing ever. It's also quite classy I would say. It has these mini little candy canes and pearls all over it. And I just love the way it sits. And for some reason, it's just bringing nostalgic Christmas movie vibe. From the 90s or the early 2000s, I just feel like the little girl in the movie will always have a Christmas bow like this in her hair. And that's what I'm trying to channel here. And I think it's so cute. And it looks really classy as well. So I really like this. And yeah, even better than what I thought. I saw it online. I knew I had to have it. Really worth the wait because it took me like three or four times to find it going in store. But it finally was there. And it was just too cute to pass up. And then besides from Kmart, the other Christmas item that I got was these lovely little Christmas cards. This was from TK Maxx. $7 for 12 little mini cards that say warm wishes for a wonderful Christmas. And I really like this because it's a bit of an off-white cream card and envelope and just has some gold accents, really nice simple tree design. And I just really love the pattern of it. I love the little embellishment around the edge of the card as well. And I thought that they would be just a nice little extra gesture and little Christmas spirit to the presents that I give. And yeah, I really like this one. And for $7, I think it's very much worth it. They had so many cute cards there, like I could have bought 12 others. There was this very cute little Santa and he looked like retro Santa, very vintage. He was skiing. I was so tempted to buy it, but I had to stop myself because I only really need 12 and I probably don't even need that many because I'm just going to give them to a select few people. So yeah, really happy with that. And TK Maxx, oh my gosh, the Christmas things in there, <sighs> dangerous. That is also very dangerous for me. But now I'm going to unbox all my other Christmas decorations and put them all up. And that is my room all finished and decorated. It looks so much more Christmassy and cheerful in here. I love it. <laughs> I feel like I'm going to add more as the season comes along and as Christmas gets closer. But for now, I'm really happy with how it's turned out. I think it looks so cute. And I really like how I've used things in a slightly different way. Usually I do the same thing every single year, but like the little thing on the curtain, I really like that. I thought that was a fun little addition to everything going on. I have some jingle bell kind of garland thing going on on the curtains hanging down and then I've got my little gingerbread garland up here, some tinsel and yeah, I'm just really happy with how it looks. I think the tree looks really amazing. The tree took a little bit of finessing to kind of get it perfect but 
I got there in the end and I'm really happy with how it looks and I love the lights. I think it's just so nice and in the past I haven't bothered because it's such a small tree. I didn't really bother putting lights on it but I think it makes such a big difference. So I'm really happy with that and yeah, feeling a lot more Christmassy and happy now. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel down below. I would really appreciate it. And let me know in the comments down below, will you decorate your room for Christmas this year? And what are your plans to do so? Like, are we going like, traditional Christmas? Are we doing a theme? Are we just doing what I did and just mishmash? Let me know in the comments down below. I'd be really interested in knowing. But thank you guys again so much for watching. And I will see you next week. Bye.